What's up YouTube? It's been a while. I know I've been away. I'm trying to come back and I thought what better way to do so than to come back with a series. Um, I'm not sure how many parts this is going to be, but what I'm doing is I'm going to share with you guys this whole cut the cord, get rid of cable, save some money. I factored in my math and I added up. It's different for everyone, so everyone's savings are going to be different however, however much you pay, whether you're in a promotion or you know what I mean. Sometimes it just doesn't matter because you're in a promotion. But for people who are outside of a promotion and that are paying $150, $160 just for freaking cable and internet, cut that cable. Get rid of it. Uh, I got a 150 megabyte package. I'm paying less than 60 something dollars a month for it. Because after cutting the cable, because I was paying like 155 for that whole package. Cutting that out and how I'm doing that is an Android TV box. These things are... More capable than what I originally knew because I know when I first heard about them, I was skeptical. I was like, why would anybody buy that? But now I know. You can get everything. Every movie, every TV show, free. You're not paying. You don't have to pay. I mean, you can pay. You can get Hulu. You can get Netflix. You can get uh, PlayStation View. You know, whatever, whatnot. But there are methods to go around that and get things for free. Um, if you're doing it that route, I recommend a VPN. IP Vanish is very good. Also, there's HiddenRouter.com. That's a really good router, but it's 200 bucks, and then you got to pay a monthly subscription for the VPN. That's probably the best route to go. But for people who are, you know, on a budget, IP Vanish is your best thing. It's only a couple bucks for three months or something like that, like five or six bucks, I think. But uh, stay tuned for this unboxing here. What this is is a 4K Ultra HD TV box. It's got Android 8.1 uh, Android TV OS. And I will be demonstrating the OS in this series. Um, this is just going to be the unboxing portion of this series. So it's going to be the first part and the next part will probably come out in a couple days. Or however often I'm going to do this. I'm not sure how many days I'm going to be recording. I might just do this part today and then maybe some tomorrow. Uh, yeah, just bear with me. I'm going to, I'm for sure every week there will be a video, if not sooner. So, yeah. Uh, two USB ports, voice search via remote. Via the remote, 60 frames per second video decoding at 4K, 8 gigabytes storage, which it has a micro SD card slot, and I got 32 gigs right here just in case. Um, it has Bluetooth, so you can get a little Bluetooth keyboard, so that way you ain't got to use the remote if you don't want to. Um, you can play games on it, I'm not going to use it for that, I'm really just going to use it for the TV. This is the box, you can kind of see the interface right here, which I will be showing you guys live. Um, let's open this baby up see what we got going on here. Wow. So the box is about the size of an Apple TV, if not smaller. I believe it's smaller. Um, here's the box. Really sleek. Feels good. Not too heavy. Um, you got your USB ports right here. Your micro SD slot. This is an Ethernet. So a lot of these Android TV boxes don't come with Ethernet, so that's good. I'll be able to hardwire it. Um, HDMI. You got your optical. 5-volt. Uh, DC, then audio, video out. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Oh, and this brand is uh, Jetstream 4K Ultra HD, and I got it from Walmart. They just got them in. So, that's the box. Um, comes with an HDMI cord. I'm probably not going to use this one because I have some high-quality ones that I'm probably going to use. Ooh, the remote. Always curious about remotes. You never know. It's decent. It'll get the job done. So you got your power. You got your play store button. These are your directional pads. You got your back, home. I'm guessing that's a menu, volume up and down. You got a button for YouTube, button for Netflix, button for Google Play. Oh, this is voice, not Google Play. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not even going to cut that. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, it's pretty decent. And I believe, yeah, there's no batteries. I'll have to get some batteries in there. Which ain't a problem. Oh, comes with batteries. Cool. Uh, here's your power. Plug it in. And then it's going to come with some paperwork. Not really going to need to read this. I kind of already know how to work with the Google Cast. It has Google Cast, Chromecast built right into the machine. So that's pretty good. For $69, that's a decent, pretty deal for what you're going to be able to do with this. Yeah, because I think, yeah, like, like I said, I'm saving $742 a year by doing this. I may have said a month in the beginning. You know what? I'm going to leave that, too. I don't care. I'm not cutting. This is all raw. <laughs> um, yeah, and 
I'll get a free one if you that if that overheats on you or something. I guess you don't really need to. And then special offers for Sling TV. Sling TV is good for live, you know, Netflix, HBO, all that stuff. I'm probably not gonna use anything but Netflix probably because my kids love it. Uh, cause what I'm going to be doing with these, uh, ABK files, I'm going to be jailbreaking into this machine. I'll be able to have free Hulu, free Amazon prime shows, free Netflix, all that. I won't need that on this box, but I just might get it for like the Roku TVs that we have and stuff in the house for the kids. And you know, you never know. Sometimes the ABKs go down. Sometimes they're updating. Sometimes you'll need a, another route to go through to watch your media and entertainment. So that's pretty decent. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Empty. Now, stay tuned because I'm going to be installing the ABKs and stuff for you guys on my computer. Um, yeah, we'll get right to that. It's starting up. This is the first startup. It lights up blue when you have it plugged in and going. I have it hooked up to my computer for now, not to the TV. So, yeah, there's the first startup of it. All right, I'm going to have to pair this. I'm going to have to pause it. Give me one second. That was easy. You just hold the back button and the power button at the same time, seven inches away from the box. doesn't have to be exactly seven inches, but up to seven inches. Um, now I'm just going to pick United States. Set up your TV with an Android phone or a tablet. Well, since I'm using my phone to record this, I'm not going to do that. So we'll skip. There's my Wi-Fi network. There's my extension. So let me log into this, and I will be right back for you guys. There it goes. It's connected. I'm connecting it Wi-Fi for now, but when I have it downstairs in my main TV in my living room, it will be hardwired to the other extender. Because I don't think I have room over there. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, it's going to make me sign into my Google. Which I think I'm going to create a new one for this box. I don't know if I want it using my cell phone. Um, I'll be right back. And now that the Android TV has its own Google account set up. And everything else I had to go through and verify. It was like 15 minutes I did that. Because I don't have the Bluetooth keyboard up here with me. And I just used this remote so you can set the whole thing up with the remote if you don't have your phone hooked up to it or that bluetooth keyboard whatever so here's the terms of service accept location no i don't want it tracked at all because i'm gonna be using a vpn to hide what i'm doing help improve android performance blah 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 send no we're not going to do that that's my own preference you guys can do that if you want to but that's just how i'm going to be Here's your Google Assistant. You can ask it questions, tell it to do things. Just like on your phone, you say, okay, Google, or whatever, you're just going to press this button right here, and you hold it, and you're going to say, hey, play Orange is the New Black on Netflix. Boom, it'll just do it. You know what I mean? It's simple as that. And that goes across all your other apps that you have installed. Use your voice to find and play your favorite TV shows fast. Control your TV, your content, and your home. Get answers about sports and weather and more. Sorry, I actually paused the video and didn't even say anything. I'm back now. I just cut whatever that was. I, I left it rolling because I had to go and get my daughter from downstairs. But we'll say continue. But yeah, like I was saying, you can do everything with your remote with your voice. So it's like a shortcut. We'll say continue. Device information, get full. I guess we could turn that on. Um, no, I'll set that up later. That's what it is named. I'm going to change it to Android TV. Because I do have some Rokus and stuff with their own names. And my computer has its own name. Because it's also a server that holds all my movies and media files. That I play uh, via the Plex app. This is loading. I'll probably cut this so it doesn't go as long for you guys. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Android TV. Let's take a moment to walk through the features of your device. Home is your guide to entertainment. Press home. 
on your remote to get to the Android TV home screen. From here, you can decide what to watch by browsing entertainment options from apps and live TV, which is going to be this button right there, your home button. Your home has channels. Discover great content from your favorite apps by browsing through your home's channels for more content. Add additional channels. You know what? We'll skip all this. I'll let you guys kind of read it yourselves. You can pause the video. I'm not going to read everything because it's just going to be boring. But yeah, you guys can pause. I'll leave it for a second so you can pause it. Ask questions. Tell it to do things. Get started. Press and hold the mic on your remote, which I'm going to do right now. Hello. Yeah. Save to open it. Guess you really didn't have to do what I just did. I was stupid. <laughs> the world of entertainment from Google Play. Buy, rent your newest movies. So yeah, you can rent movies on Google Play if you want to. I'm not going to. This is mainly just to save money and kind of just get everything for free because... People are on a budget. Chromecast built in. So you can just send your phone right to the screen. Simple and easy like that. Adding the finishing touches. I might skip this if it takes too long. Nope. Now that USB drive detected Samsung SD card. I stuck the SD card in there before I turned the thing on. So that is why. That that's saying that. You'll have to format that. So on top of the 8 gigs, I'm going to have 32 gigs too, because I'm probably going to be installing a lot of apps. So personally, I'm going to need it. And this is going to take a moment, so let me pause it here. When the formatting's done, it's going to ask you if you want to move files. There's really nothing on here, so I'm just going to say move later. Put this brand new out of the box. And here's your home dash. This is all loading. I know it seems kind of slow right now, but it's because we just got it going. So this is everything that comes on it. Right away, you're going to get Netflix out the bat, Vudu. You're going to have to get your uh, subscriptions and logins. YouTube. So while they're gray, they're getting updated. That's what's going on right now. So you'll see them light up when they're finished updated. All right, here's Play Next, TV shows. I think you'll have a subscription for that. What's hot on Netflix right now will show right up. So yeah, you can do all this. And then movies, if you want to buy movies on Google Play, you can buy them and stream them at 4K. But that's not why I'm doing this. Again, music, you can listen to music on it, which I'll be able to do with my Plex app, so I'm not going to probably buy any of these because I already have my music. So now, settings... I'm going to have to do a few things to set this up. Um, yeah, so here's your Google Cast, your apps. I know one of the first things you want to do is you want to activate hidden stuff. Um, let me figure that out, and I'll send a clip. Hold on. I had to get a little familiar with this interface because I haven't used this yet. I know what I'm doing, I just, I had to get used to this, because this one's a little different than the one I had. So what you'll do is, you'll go down the security, and then unknown sources. You're going to want to activate that. Your device personal data are more vulnerable, blah, 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 blah. Install unknown sources. So you'll have to do that later on. It's not letting me do that right now. So I'm wondering if I have to wait till I install the apps to do that. So we'll get it going. Okay, I had some minor hiccups and I figured out what I'm doing now. Um, so this is an app you're going to need when you're jailbreaking to get the content loaded onto your box. There's going to be a special code. I cannot provide you with that code because I believe it's, again, some kind of... Uh, YouTube standards, um, yeah, you're going to have to do your own research 
And I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to enter my code and go into the store and I'm going to get all the apps. I don't believe I can show you guys how to get these apps and how to do the jailbreak. However, I can kind of steer you in the right direction, I suppose. Or you can also message me and we can talk on Messenger. And okay, I'm still setting up the apps right now. Um, again, I don't know what YouTube standards are and what I can show you and what I can't show you. However, I am willing to help you. If you message me, um, I will answer. I'm probably going to set up an email address for this YouTube. I think, it, yeah, I already have one set up, so it's it'll be easy to manage. Um, I can't get to everyone, but I will see what I can do. There's a couple channels out there that don't care about standards, and they don't care if their YouTube whatever gets caught up, so... I could probably direct you to that where I've learned and websites, you know. Um, however, I'm willing to help friends and family. You know me. Um, you can see what I can do here, and I can do it for you. Um, but yeah, just hit me up, and I will let you guys know. Stay tuned, and I will be doing an overview of the apps. Um, I think the next episode is going to be installing Cody. And what build to use and how to do that. I can do that. I know I can. I just can't show you where to get the app. I think is what it is. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. The uh, Android TV box hooked up to my main TV in my living room. And I'd had a video of me doing that. Sorry about the Facebook notification. Anyways, I had a video of me installing the apps. However, I wasn't really showing you exactly where to get the apps. But I was showing you the apps and kind of just clicking on how I'm installing them and whatnot. I lost all that footage. So that's why I'm checking in with you guys right here. Sorry again, stupid Facebook. Um, Yeah, I'm going to probably give you a brief overview of the interface. And my next episode is going to be showing you the app store of like how to get some of these uh like services legit, you know, if you want to pay for them. Also, I'm going to show you the free APKs, how you get like free live TV, premium channels, free Netflix, free Hulu. Um, there's a Terrarium TV clone. It's not called Terrarium TV. It's light Terrarium TV. It's pretty decent, actually. Um, I'll show you a quick sneak peek of that. So here, stay tuned for a second. All right. So this is the interface after I've done it, installed the few of the apps that I want. There's more that I haven't got to yet. IP Vanish is important if you're going to be streaming some of this content that uh, you don't want your ISP to see. So this will mask you from your for your from your internet service provider, so they won't know what you're doing. Um, that's important to have, and it's really cheap, and there's pretty good deals on it. Cody, everybody knows what Cody is. How you watch shows and movies and everything else. Plex is pretty dope. This is actually a media server that's hooked up to my computer, and the app connects to that, so I'm able to watch all these movies right here. I can't click them because then I'll get copyright striked, but you kind of get the point. Yes, Equalizer 2 and None. Yes, they're not out yet, but I do have them. Everybody knows I can do this. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this app. This is really not what I wanted to show everyone right now. I was going to do a video on this, but oh well. I lost some footage, so why not? Here's kids' movies that I got for the kids. So they have like every movie they want. Here's what they recently watched upstairs on their Roku. Um, so Mob Droll, it's live TV channel. Cyberflix is the Terrarium clone. Uh, TTV does movies and TV shows. Of course, Netflix. Pluto TV is free. That's live. Um, YouTube, Pandora, there's Free Flix. There's the uh, NLT, which is TV show or TV channels, premium channels. Like Showtime, uh, Cinemax, all that other stuff. Um, if we click this, I'll give you a little sneak peek of it. So here's TV shows. Good Doctor, Walking Dead. Look, Marvel's Daredevil, Netflix exclusive. You can watch it. Free. Um, so there's a season... Now, you got to be patient for some of this stuff. I'm not going to sit here and wait for it, but it does work. Here's 
Here's movies. Halloween, Venom. Now this is just streaming too. And this box can handle 4K content. What else should I show you guys? Oh, sometimes an app won't pop up here in your favorites. So you got to add them. So you just scroll your list right here and add them. And sometimes you can go up here. And then you can go down to apps. Here's Cinema HD. Open that. Again, it's like Terrarium. So you got all these. And then you got Night School Alpha just came out. That's what's popular right now. So if I go here, go TV shows, you're going to have The Walking Dead, The Flash, Iron Fist, Arrow, The Simpsons. And here's all the episodes, or all the seasons, I should say. Holy crap, I did not know that Simpsons had this many seasons. That's That's crazy to me. So here's how you select your episodes. Bart's not dead. Function will be available. I'll pause it here for a second. Your sources will start popping up after you wait a little bit. So you can get like, there's HD streams, 360, 720, you know, high quality. We'll say HD for now. You'll click play. And then it'll play. I can't sit here and play this because I'll get copyrighted strike, but you get the idea. But yeah, that's how you do it. And I don't have no cable. This is all just me doing what I do. It's the Android TV box. I mean, it's pretty dope. And I'm going to be saving a lot of money, so I'm glad. I'm happy with it, and I wanted to kind of share it with everyone. Um, this box, this Jetstream 4K box that I got from Walmart, I want to play with it. I want to use it for a week, and then I will do a week review of the product and how it's working and if it gets any hang-ups, if it slows down on me. Uh, usually takes about a week, week and a half to like really get the box worked in, so... Stay tuned for that review too. Uh, my next episode is going to be installing Cody. Uh, the build that I like to use, which I have used a lot of builds, and this is probably the best one that I've found personally. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully I can get that up tomorrow. Uh, might start filming that episode tonight before I go to bed, and then we'll work on getting it uploaded tomorrow and edited. If I need to edit it, I might just do it raw like this one. So yeah. We'll see y'all later. Peace out.